and I have four different ways to for doing the case studies. The standard one is the nexted. In this case, I just need to define the start, the end, and the step size or the numbers of steps. So as I have my current value as 25 Celsius degree, I can define, for instance, 20 as start, 30 as the end, and I want just one step by time. But if I don't want to define the step size and I want to define the number of steps, when I do that, the Aspen High Seas will, based on the numbers of steps, they will define the step size or vice versa. When I do that and I click on run, the calculations was already performed. And when I go to the results, I can see that based on the increase in my temperature in the feed, I decrease the power consumption. So there are two ways to, to see that in a table format, or I can go to plot and verify the results. If I have different variables, as dependent and independent variable, I can choose here the variables and verify a new way of choosing the graph. I am able also to do a case study with more than one independent variable. For instance, if I return to variable selection and now I add the feed-in pressure, for instance, I can add that to my verifications. And if I return to the case study, I will define the pressure started to the, uh, finish as three, and I have the same procedure. So in this case, I will consider also 10 steps. And based on that, if as I have listed next nested, in summary, nested is examines every possible combination of variable changes. So when I click on run, you can see that as I have 10 step in temperature, 10 step in pressure, 10 multiplied by 10, I have 100 combinations possible using nested. So numbers of states is 100. And if I go to results, I will have 100 cases and I can verify the plot based on temperature, based on pressure, based on dirty, dirty is the same. And with that, I can export my results to Excel and prepare them or work on them better to clarify uh, any results that I need to my audience.